All right, guys, welcome to the next video of phase five. In this video, we're going to cover brokers. Um, and just so you guys know, all of this information that I'm going to give you is just pretty much for the most part off the top of my head. Um, so that means that I don't have all the answers. So if I'm wrong in certain aspects, you know, by all means, let me know and feel free to do your own research to, you know, expand your knowledge on the topic, because knowing your brokers is, I think, a very, very important thing especially when there's a lot of shady b-book transactions a lot of manipulation right kind of like what we saw with icy markets even recently uh, you know as of this video it's march 17th so i believe it was one two weeks ago when icy markets had that big crash in bitcoin so it's very very common um but we're gonna get into you know how to choose a broker per se so anyways right the definition of a broker right is a financial service company right that is essentially the middleman between you and the liquidity free liquidity feed provided to them right the broker makes pro makes its profits i'm sorry about that makes its profits from your spread and your commission right so if you notice especially with a lot of uh, regulated brokers you're going to have a maybe a, a shorter spread or a smaller spread right but a lot more in terms of con commissions um so your, the brokerage itself, right? It can either A book or B book the transaction that you are placing, right? Whether it's a buy or sell. Um, in A book transaction, right? This just means that your positions are filled directly into the liquidity provider, right? Whereas B, as a B book transaction, right? Your, your positions are filled into the broker itself, right? This means that you're trading a quote unquote imaginary or knockoff version of the market. Right. What this also means is that the brokerage is risking its own capital to essentially trade against you because obviously over 90 percent of traders don't profit. So they're using this statistic to trade against traders. Right. And essentially um, make profits that way. And that's called the dealing desk. Uh, but anyways. Right. Although, you know, you are having all of those drawbacks, the, the one of the only things that I can think of that's a positive right is that your execution is direct and much faster when executing onto the broker itself um what i mean with this is like when you're actually pressing buy or sell you probably won't see that much slippage uh, and it'll be instant right not only that but your commissions and your spreads will probably be lower you know than than a than a regular regulated broker with that does a book transactions um but anyways right you do run the risks of manipulation right that you don't see on regulated trading feeds like you know anything on trading view um, and potentially you may not even be able to withdraw um, just because of how shady a lot of these brokers can be so with that being said there is also another type of, of broker and this is actually kind of common where it's something called a hybrid broker and it's pretty much a mix of the two um, and based on you know your personal performances Right, the broker decides how to book your transactions. Um, okay, so, right, talk, coming into regulated and unregulated brokers, right, a regulated broker is a broker that is registered, right, with the financial regulatory body of their spe specified country, right, like for example, um, OANDA. OANDA is regulated by the CFTC and the NFA, which are US based regulations, right, just like there's a lot, you know, more regulated brokers. Right, that's just an example. So an unregulated broker, <clears throat> right? This essentially just means that no regulatory regulatory body monitors the actions, right? And you run the risk of having your money stolen, um, while you're also having your your positions potentially be be booked, right? And there is also no security if the broker goes bankrupt. That just means your your money is gone. Like that's it. Um, so now the the important question. Right, is how do you choose? <laughs> right, so naturally, I'm pretty sure you're thinking, obviously, go for the regulated broker, right? Well, it's not that it's not that linear of, of a question, you know. Um, and my answer is reputation, right? Doing your own research, talking to your to your trading friends, and and seeing what brokers they use, their experiences, right? It's all about the broker's re uh, reputation, because for example, right. Um, I think FXCM uh, received the lawsuit for B booking client transactions, but that's a regulated regulated broker. So it just shows that when it comes to money, anybody can be shady. Um, 
so it's so in conclusion right it's it's okay to be with any type of broker that you choose to be as long as you know they are reliable right just because they are regulated right doesn't necessarily mean that they're better than any unregulated broker right like i said it all falls down to reputation so talk to people you know ex you know do your own research um, test out different brokers right and obviously stick with the one that's best for you okay so with that being said um, that's the end of this video and i'll see you guys in the next one